Okay, so Steve and Wendy, thanks for taking some time to come and chat with us today. Um, obviously, we've got in the background, for the viewers' benefit, we've got in the background a really excellent social tennis competition. Can you guys just tell us a little bit about what the competition is? And you might need to speak fairly loud. Yeah, because yeah. it's starting to rain, obviously, which yeah. is why we like to be inside. Um, today is our uh, Border Reavers Big Bull Bash and Barbecue social competition. Um, Border Reavers, because they were a, a tribe who used to raid over the Northumberland and Scottish borders. And um, we have our friends from Glasgow who travel down from with us. Uh, we've got some guys from Tyneside, we've got some guys from Teesside. Uh, so basically, we've got the three sort of local ish. Uh, teams to come in, we're just going to have a, have a hit, have a barbecue um, and drink, have some fun and that's really what it's all about today. It is a competition, and it is going to be competitive, there will be prizes, um, but mainly it's just to get everyone together, just have tennis, have fun, it's not a league, or it's not a count for anything, um, you know, it's not, it's be, not an official LTA competition. Right? There, there will be a trophy which will, the, yes, this competition indeed. will be held every year. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're, we're so, adding it to our, uh, our growing calendar now of, uh, of uh, social competitions that we put on every year outside of the sort of regular uh, national framework uh, which exists. Uh, so our next one, for instance, will be happening in October. Uh, we're just going to get a Halloween hooting alley because again we've got this new Scottish connection. Um, and then at Christmas we'll have our Christmas crackers, uh, which is always a fancy dress doubles. And again, it's really all about just getting everyone to come here and play. And just enjoy themselves really and not not so sort of, it's not it's not pressury even in terms of the organization um just just have fun to the play they have fun and then goes to the pub. excellent and wendy can you tell us a little bit about because i mean i think it's fair to say that you are one of the founding members of northeast visually impaired tennis club if not the founding member um a lot of these competitions have come off the hard work that you put in to get in the club established can you just talk us through you know what competition means for you as a player and as a coach well, as a, as a player, I mean, it's great to have competitions. Um, it gives them a focus for people who want to compete. And then if we do social competitions, it gets the social side of it. Uh, so people who just want to play some fun games, but in a competition setting, and it does that as well. And then we have the social side of it um, as well. But as a coach, um, for, for players who are really good players, it's great for them because they need competitions to get them to get better, give them a new proper environment. And um, those people who want to just play, as I say, social tennis, and it gives them a little taste of competitions, but not serious competitions. So it's fun, it? And as we can see, um, Steve's a man of many talents. I mean, Steve is probably one of your many prodigies. Um, you know, he's, he's gone through his level one and two coaching, as of you. He's gone through his competition organising organizing course, um, and he's done a lot of stuff for the club. I mean, what does it feel like for you, Wendy, to empower people with sight loss to be able to, you know, to be able to turn tennis into something that's right for them? It's really great. It gives you a really great feeling. Um, Steve has achieved so much in such a short time, um, and he just wants to learn more, which is really great. For, for the game and for VI tennis and also with him being just doing it quite short um, it helps other people to say well I can do this you can do it as well so it gives yeah. that aspect as well because then he can say I've done it whether you've got a site boss or you've got a site anybody can do competition organise of course um, or anything really it's, it's your goal your aim for whatever you want to do Excellent. So two more questions then. Um, this one's for Steve. Steve, you mentioned before that um, social competition, yes. you know, we have a lot of prizes, giveaways, freebies. Um, do you have any sponsors um, that do like competition um, uh, packs or anything like that? Yeah, or do you have any local do. sponsors? We've got, some, we've got some nice merch today, courtesy of uh, Benedict Tennis Festivals. Um, great stuff. We've got some uh, bunting stuff up and things in the background. We love a bit of bunting. Um, can't go, can't have a competition without bunting. Uh, we've got a little wristbands and rackets and uh, racket wrap <laughs> handle tape um, and stuff like that. So it's just great stuff to give out. It makes it makes more of an atmosphere if you've got like some bunting and stuff to put up. Um, there's there's various bits of stuff you can dress the the court with, which hopefully will turn up in, in some of the photos later on. But yeah, we have a we have a great time with those definitely. And then for, can I just say, Rosie, for today we've actually had an extra little competition because yeah. it's borders. 
we thought like um, you know how you have um, coats of arms yeah. for your different places, you know, like Stockton, Middlesbrough, Glasgow, or wherever. Yeah, we've we've got some of those. We've got photos downloaded in there, yeah. But we've also had a competition for people to create their own logo for their own club in their own, say like Durham and Tees Valley, and um, Tyne and Weir and Glasgow. Um, so they're gonna there's gonna be a little prize for if they haven't had it, but we're gonna there's gonna be a prize for each team. Anyway. Brilliant. So it's bringing in more elements to the tennis. It's not just about hitting balls. It's about yeah. being creative and you know using your team. To, uh, to encourage more dialogue. That's great. So my last question for both of you then, um, what would you say if somebody was a little bit scared to go and try tennis at their local club or venue, what words of advice would you give to them? Steve, I'll let you go first. Do it. Just go and do it. It'll be great. Do it. Um, I, I can totally understand uh, why people would be a bit standoffish at first. It's a hard sell and that's for me. Um, when I first met Wendy, I, I didn't really believe that it was possible for someone with sight loss to play tennis. And she showed me on that day that it absolutely was. I was dead nervous. It turned out to be absolutely fine. Um, I think when I first started coming, I said I'd come maybe get every other week or something like that because it wasn't that hard. It was really big for me, but it kept me out. Um, and now here I am uh, organising the competitions and doing the coaching and being the treasurer of the club. So you don't, have to, you don't have to do that. Absolutely. You can just go along and have a go. But definitely do go and have a go. You will, you will feel nervous, but you will be made to feel extremely welcome and character. That's great, thanks Steve. And Wendy, last words from you, if somebody was a bit nervous about playing tennis, what would you say to them? Yeah, just, just go along and find out where you look, even your local club, even if it's an outside club, just go along and see, as long as you can find a sound ball to take to you, I'm sure one of our clubs, somewhere around the country, would be able to give you a sound ball, and then just go, just do it. It's that first step, it's very hard sometimes, because yeah. you're thinking, can I actually do it? And you actually can, anybody can, and they can enjoy it as well. We've got people here who never thought they could ever do it, like Steve, or no, I'm not even into sport. And you know, you don't even have to be into sport because once you get the bug for tennis, that's it. Just make that first deep step. That first step, it can, if you're very, very shy, like I was years and years ago, it, it's very hard, and I understand how hard it can be, but it can be done. Excellent. Thanks very much for that, Wendy and Steve. And it's great to uh, come along to another competition. Thanks for that. Yeah, it sleeps, but it's still um, it's still, it should, recording. Yeah. <laughs> still recording even now. I think, Steve, yeah. uh, you mixed mine and Marcus's now. Uh, because Wendy's blue and Marcus is blue. Marcus, I'm going to say.